the battle, the battle is actually in your head. You're not going to hear noises. You're not going to hear gunfire. You're not going to hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness. And they're not attacking. They're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm going to start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're going to do it this time. And this time I'm serious. And this time off for real and I'm going to get it done. Except you're not. And you know you're not. And if you really want it to change and if you really want to make a change, you really want to be different and you really want it to be this time, start f***ing now. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves I'm going to start Monday never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Don't I control your mood? You saw something that threw you off? Well, see something that threw you back on. You have to f***ing work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. Unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. They are done with passive effort passive thought. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning. Do I need to take that will unlock the door to unlimited powers and possibilities that I have within myself? Let's come out of this motherfucker genius. The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain. The easiest thing in the world to do is to be negative. It takes work to have a perspective that see things on the right side of the coin. You got to fight for that. It takes work to show up every single day. And when things are not playing in our favor to say, you know what, man, I'm going to still show up and I'm going to give everything I got to it because I value what I'm a part of. It takes work to have the right perspective. You're going to need some energy. You're going to need something that's so powerful. You're going to need something with real life habit. You're going to need some energy that can get you going and get you through this. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% because you ain't got a why for what you do. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? How is it that you would be able, what reasons that can tap in to that deep down feeling that goes to your gut that no matter how many times you get knocked down, that you're coming back. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make mama proud of me. I promise my kids I'm going to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get light. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within. And that's got to push you. And that's got to drive you. And that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you you find a way to make it happen. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you wasn't ready. But if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. If you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. 
Once we hit that wall, we don't quit. We don't give up. We push a switch called will and we start using our willpower. Yes, we tired. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached a goal yet. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. When you acknowledge it, hey, it's me. I'm the one. I've got to do this. I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for them. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. You start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. But at some point, you got to go take the life out of it. At some point, you just got to take that thing out. You got to take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. Understand that when you're trying to avoid the pain, when you're trying to avoid the struggle, when you're trying to avoid the hard things, you are actively choosing to be average. You are actively choosing to be mediocre. And you are actively choosing to move further away from what you want in life. Because that hardship and that pain and that struggle, they give you the skills that will forge you into a motherfucking champion. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up. You quit. You let go. And people feel weak. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. You guys have got to believe in yourself. Head strong, mentally tough. It's the only way to the bullshit here in life. Winners, the difference between them and the spectators, is the winners have a belief that overrides the crowd's disbelief every single time. Their belief is so strong, even though they hit the failure, they get knocked on the ass. They're finally the intestinal fortitude to stand back up again, face that same challenge, learning from the previous mistakes, and make it happen. Winners fail a million times. What makes them a winner is that they believe it, they're headstrong. Nothing's gonna stop that. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest team worker there. No longer are we gonna accept rhymes and society's rhymes of reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route. You work it out, you wanna die. Feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it'll be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shh, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. No more f***ing around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can f***ing help you. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're going to be proud this year. And no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, you burn the boats. Because when you burn those boats, there's no going back. You're going to find a way to make things work. You got to do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to second the f*** up and do it. 
Time is running out. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. And you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. Be what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 fucking pounds, be about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning the week, and then you start winning the month, and then you start winning the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else. You clap with everybody else. You support everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. Easy doesn't pay well. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice that ultimately leads to freedom. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. People ask me what I do when I get those little feelings running around. Well, let me tell you what I don't do. I don't tell everybody. As a matter of fact, I don't even let those words run around inside my own brain housing group. I keep it secure. Lock it down. It doesn't matter how I'm doing it doesn't matter how I slept last night. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter when the last time I ate. It doesn't matter because I'm going to go get some. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Make the binary code decision. Yes or no? You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotions. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. Prove to yourself today, every day, that you can and will push harder than you wanted to. Harder than you felt like pushing. Past the point of fatigue and far beyond the point of comfort to that outer edge. With every ounce of grit and tenacity to where you cross that line, that threshold through the suffering. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering to more pain. Your mind quits way before your body does. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. Because of what's in front of you, you still must fly. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Where are the warriors that say, I'm going to make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what what you gonna do and then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you feel like it or not you might have more talent than me you might be smarter than me but i will not be outworked period it's such a simple basic concept is the guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball there's only one thing you cannot purchase. There's only one thing you cannot buy. And that's what real beasts do. That's something you're going to have to do. You got to put more energy and you got to put more effort in your stuff than anybody. So you getting up at four and it ain't working. Get up at three thirty. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. If a person leaves at six, you leave at eight. If a person makes 100 calls a day, you make 200 calls a day. If somebody practices three hours, you practice five hours. If somebody practices six hours, you practice eight hours. If someone reads two books, you read four books. Just do a little bit more. Because there's somebody out there who won't show spot. And so you got to embody excellence. It's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving, starving for greatness and starving for success. You start training, training like it's your life, not a game. Like it's your life. Like it's the last opportunity, the only opportunity. 
See, a guy like me, I knew someone was better than me. There's more talented people than me. Probably more talented than you. But you might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. You aren't gonna outwork me over three years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. You might think I'm not that. I just keep coming. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were going to get tired. They were going to flinch. They were going to get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. They spend all their damn money. I'm not going to do that stuff. I'm going to save money. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to keep getting wild. I'm going to stay relentless. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing, when you're studying without coach, when you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweat. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, you got to be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. That when I see you, without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to, ever. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and they make another bad choice. They make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how do I get here? Choices. How do I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you? You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination was my ability to be, do, and act. Whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. I didn't get to where I am. But I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. You don't belong at the bottom. And it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got to kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day, I don't have days when I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. You really got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging to act. 
to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. What most of us are looking for is a special feeling of, oh, I feel great this morning. I'm going to get out of bed and get a quick five miles and I'm going to the gym. If you're looking for that feeling, let me tell you one thing, ain't going to come. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. Learn to bring that savage mentality on yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? Then just do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. The savage mindset when things are going bad, guess what they do? Quitting's out of the question. All they think about is how the fuck am I going to get through this? There's no quitting. It's just get through and thrive, not survive. Don't let the pain can rob you of your belief of what you can be. Because your body hears everything your mind says. And anytime you have any kind of discomfort in the situation, your body remembers that, and your body's just a messenger. It's investing today for tomorrow's betterment. And that's what we've been doing here. Smart. Mindset first. If we don't know what we're doing, and we're just going through emotions, you're always going to end up on an average millibeat. Unremember. Stop that sh**. You must be smarter than the average person. You don't get out of life what you want. You get out of life who you are. That means I come every single time, all time. It means every time I come, I put in 120% or I don't come. Why? Because I'm trying to be the better. You either are or you fucking are. You either will or you fucking won't. You're either going to become or you're not going to become. And it's not because of the outside circumstances. It's because of the inside circumstances. So you can tell yourself all the sh all the reasons why you're not. None of it's true. Just know that every f***ing excuse that you made for your f***ing life is bullshit. Because there's people out there who come from worse than you, who has f***ing had bigger challenges than you, who have had more struggles than you, who have faced far more adversity than you, that get it done every mother f***ing day. Artist fans, sorry for stopping your journey midway. I just want to get one minute from you guys. From the bottom of my heart and our teams, we want to thank each and every one of you for joining us on this amazing journey we've embarked upon. Every day we try our best to make the best videos for you guys to enjoy, we try to craft them well and well, but today I have really something special for you. I want to introduce you to Brain FM, the first music app that uses science, music and a patented technology to help you meditate, focus and sleep. I've been using for weeks now and it works amazingly well. Their focus mode is the most effective music I've used and it's helped me focus on all my workflows that I've been doing every day. And you've seen the results in the artist videos, of course. Their modes like sleep, meditation, relax are world class modes that will help you embark on this journey. The music works by changing the brain waves on your brain with patented technology so it actually helps you get the job done. This is unlike anything we've ever heard before. So. After you've hit the gym, after you've lifted those weights, after you've finished all of your work, your body needs to heal. So you gotta sit back, relax, and listen to Brain FM. Now you know the best way on how to do this. I really want you to try this. So I worked out a deal in order to get you a full month of free access. You don't need to pay anything in the beginning. Help support our channel by going to into the link in our description and get one month of Brain FM totally for free. Check the link in our description and download Brain FM app right now. So get ready, get focused, and continue on your journey. I got tired of losing. I got tired of coming up short. I got tired. I got tired of eating out of trash cans. I got tired of watching everybody else graduate. I got tired of seeing people ride first class. I got to go all the way to the back. I got tired. I hate it as much as you hate it. But the problem is I want it more than you want it. I got tired of giving 70 and 80 percent and not living the way I want to live. I see other people winning and I'm not winning and I want to be a winner and I'm tired and I got tired, y'all. So I did something about it. I woke up every day and started grinding. I was tired. You got to get tired of losing. And what I discovered was that you don't have to be born in a certain family. You don't have to have a certain socioeconomic status. It only takes one thing to get what you see other people have that you want. And it's called effort. You out of place. Don't belong there. You are royal 
priesthood. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You are an embarrassment to the kingdom. You are a royal priesthood. Act like it. You got to get this beast mode. You got to embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm going to get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. Stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder, hoping for some easy way out. And just do. How desperate are you for what you want? Do you want as bad as breathing? Do you want it as bad as anything you ever wanted in your life? And if you calibrate it at the highest enough levels, what I found is the people that are the hungriest, they find a way. When you're desperate, you find reserves and reservoirs of ideas, talents, and a strength that you don't know you have when you find yourself in a desperate situation. Either you get knocked out, you get back up, and you get back up, and you get back up, and you continue to push against the wall because you believe in the purpose. You find value in it. That was Michael Jordan. He said, I failed over and over and over and over again I failed, and that's why I succeeded. That's so why I need you to walk out there. No more 50%. No more. No more 50%. No more. No more, no more 70%. No more. I want us at 85 and climb. If you're at 80, I want you at 90, and I'll be moving right Rapidly. Life is going to give everybody a bad hand. No one's going to leave here without being tried in life. Will adversity make the strong stronger or the weak weaker? But how do you keep going? Why do you keep going? What is it that will make it worth it for you? When you want to give up when things are working against you to face the rejections. What makes you get up when you fall down? What makes your mentality change if there's a great situation or there's a bad situation? How do you dictate that based off the level of pain? Because I think that's what we're getting in trouble at. That's why many are called a few are chosen. Because everybody won't get the beat down. Everybody's not willing to face rejection. Everybody won't take the controversy. Everybody won't take the heat. Everybody won't hold themselves to a higher standard. Because see, pain is tricky. Because if you don't control pain, it'll control you. Until you learn how to figure it out, until you learn how to tap it on the back and say, I know you there, but I'm built to deal with you. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. I'm bigger than this. I got me here. I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. We must find a way to push through pain because there's something greater on the other side of it. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I can, I will, I must be demanding. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. Even if no one else believes that you can do it, even if the odds are stacked against you, even if your chances of survival are slim to none, say to yourself, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Go get your doggone stuff and don't let nobody tell you no. You go get your stuff and you go get all your stuff because God gave you that stuff and they don't have a right to take it from you. In spite of what's going on right now, in spite of the hardships that we've experienced, it's worth my going at it with everything in me. It's worth giving it every fiber of my being to bring it into reality, to express who I am. I got to sing the song I'm supposed to sing. I got to do the work I'm supposed to do. It's possible you can have it in spite of where you are right now. That's not important. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you. You don't take it lightly. You go at it. And you take responsibility for making it happen. And you own up to the fact it's going to be hard. So what? I'll do it hard. Sometimes you might be defeated, but to you, it's worth it. How much longer are you going to wait? How much longer? You're going to wait another 30 seconds? You're going to wait another minute? You're going to wait another hour? Maybe we'll, we'll start in a couple hours. You know what? How about I just wait till tomorrow? 
You're going to wait till tomorrow? You're going to wait another week? You're going to wait another month? How much longer are you going to wait? All great people start. They start anywhere, at any place, and at any time. They start whether they're hurting. They start whether they're excited. It does not matter where they are. They just start. Just start. Just do the work. You just go. And procrastination dies. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You have control over your mind. You just have to assert it. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Sadness doesn't get a vote. Frustration doesn't get a vote. Negativity doesn't get a vote. Your temper doesn't get a vote. So next time you are feeling weak or lazy or soft, tell those feelings they don't get a vote. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after every daggone day. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. You have to suffer. You have to make that a tattoo on your fucking brain. So when that hard time comes again, you don't forget it. You have to struggle. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the peace. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. You have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul or whatever the fuck is in front of you. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. But you have to have the will, the heart, the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. You have nothing left to give and give more. It starts with you. It's about a commitment to you. That's what's wrong with a lot of you. Because you want somebody else to be more committed to you than you want to be to yourself. And you got to get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Right now, make the decision that any price is worth it for you to make your family proud of you. For you to make your dream happen. Stop negotiating the price. This negotiation you keep doing in your mind. Is this really where I'm supposed to be? This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Steals all your energy. It steals your focus. But those of you that get laser focused become totally immersed in your dream. That know those babies of yours, your parents. They're worth the sacrifice. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make and you get to make that choice. You want to win? You want to be a millionaire? You got to quit being so casual. You walk slow. You talk slow. You implement things slow. You talk a good game like you're going to be somebody. Wake up. You're gonna get your ass kicked, dude. You gotta get focused and get in a hurry. The separator is gonna be who takes massive action quickly. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. You've got to develop a sense of urgency. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. You meet somebody wealthy, their family at one point was not wealthy. And then the one shows up. The one. One person changes the family tree forever. In my family, I'm the one. And it wasn't because I wanted it or I hoped for it. I fought for it. I want to win. I want to fight for my family. I want my mom and dad proud of me. I want my kids proud of me. I want me proud of me. I want to look in the mirror and be happy with the man I look back at. That he gave it everything. That he went for it. You got to focus on you. And as you convince you, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. This is my day. And nothing out here is going to stop me. Everything has to do with you intending to win. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you decide to win, once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. You can change you. 
You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do what is required. Successful people stop negotiating the price in their life. You know what's stripping all your success? You keep negotiating the price you're paying. Man, all the work I'm putting in, it's not paying off. I don't see my family as much. I got to do all this. You start negotiating it all the time and it's stopping all your damn energy. Successful people don't negotiate price, they negotiate worth. Could this be worth it to me to pay this? And once you decide it's worth it to win, it's worth it to be somebody, the negotiation stops. It might be year two, three, four, before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm going to walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. That's the decision. Decide now. You're going to keep negotiating the price, or can you not be bought? the value of self resigns and you see when walk alone you learn to trust yourself and you learn to listen your mind and inside being sorted by opinion of others you learn to make decision based at own you judgment and your own instantment and you have the true power come from because when you can really on yourself when you can and that your own and nothing that you can stop you but last we clear uh, walking alone does not means uh, isolation yourself it does not mean are you refuse help when you it needs it simple mean that you are your own foundation you are just responsible for your success your life is business it about taking ownership now we are is not easy to part it's not for everyone it take challenging its determination is take to willian comfort weakness uh, but we reward we are worth it because when you walk this path and when yourself it discover a strength with and their discover confidence in resilient card thought the challenging and hardship and any adversity there is a life for and now think you give environment their achievement thought history and they did not flow the crowd they did not come for else so and the way and the way and make it happen thank you for watching like share and subscribe